Hello there, movie buffs. Sit back and relax as we unfold a chilling story about a gruesome encounter of deadly vampires with a commoner tricked into secretive family ties. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In this video, I will explain the Invitation movie of 2022 in detail, provide the lessons we learned from the movie, and explain how to survive the deadly encounter with Dracula and his nasty disciples. Now, let's dive into the captivating world of this cinematic adventure as Evie, a New York waitress, finds herself entangled in a web of mystery and family secrets. Picture this. An unexpected invitation from her enigmatic long-lost cousin Oliver leads her to a majestic yet haunting mansion in the heart of England. Despite her initial reservations, Evie takes the plunge, only to be greeted by an atmosphere charged with unsettling energy. Brace yourselves for a roller coaster of emotions and an intricate plot that promises to keep you guessing until the very end. In the opening scenes, Evie and her best friend Grace have just finished their shift as waitresses at a restaurant. Once she's home, she gets into her hobby of making clay pots, which she totally digs. Then, she starts listening to this voicemail from her mom, who's wishing her a happy birthday. After that, she checks out the Find Yourself website. Basically, it's a way for people to find their bloodlines or relatives around the world. Despite her gut instinct, Evie fills out the form and sends it in. But she's all emotional because her dad died when she was 14, her mom passed away last year, and she's got no clue about any other family. Emotions can really mess with you, you know? Later, she's hanging out and having some drinks with her friend when she gets a message from some dude named Oliver Alexander on the Find Yourself site. Turns out, he's her cousin from London, England, and he's inviting her to a meetup. She's all hyped about it and tells her friend, who's like, hold up, don't trust random people on the internet. But Evie's all like, nah, he's family, plus he's British, so he's gotta be cool, right? Her friend keeps warning her, but she's set on meeting Oliver, although her friend tells her to stay sharp and safe. Oliver tells Evie that a family member is getting hitched up and then out of nowhere invites her to the wedding. Evie's totally caught off guard and feeling unsure, but she thanks him and says she can't swing it. But Oliver keeps pushing, saying he'll cover all the expenses, and when she still says no, he plays the sympathy card, talking about his dying great-uncle and how it's time for her to fulfill her mom's wish to go back to her roots in England. And just like that, Evie's convinced. Oliver introduces her to the peculiar Alexander family, including the enigmatic Walter, who takes a particular interest in Evie. Despite warnings from her friend and unsettling events, Evie becomes entangled in a web of emotions, family ties, and the supernatural. As the plot thickens, she discovers dark secrets about the family, including their vampiric nature and a ritual involving the consumption of human blood. Man, that's so crazy. She's been trying to dodge this whole thing from the get-go, and now she's making a snap decision to go with this guy she just met. All because she's feeling emotional about having a family. This is gonna be the biggest mistake of her life. And she's gonna find that out real soon, after landing in her motherland. She's on the phone with her friend after touching down and her friends warning her to watch out for this dude. Evie starts noticing disturbing events during her stay. She witnesses the ghost of Emmeline, depicted in a flashback, hanging herself from the staircase. Maids disappear after being attacked by a shadowy figure. Deville, who initially romances Evie, is revealed to have researched her before her arrival. Despite a confrontation and Evie's three to leave, they reconcile and have an intimate encounter. At a rehearsal dinner hosted by the family, Ivy expects to meet the bride and groom, but is shocked when DeVille announces that they are to be wed. During the event, Renfield, the butler, commits a gruesome act by slitting a maid's throat and collecting her blood. DeVille, Lucy, and Victoria are exposed as vampires, and they indulge in the maid's blood. It is disclosed that the Alexanders, Evie's ancestors, have a long-standing tradition of offering one of their women to become a DeVille's wife in exchange for protection and wealth. Emmeline was supposed to be his third breed, but she committed suicide due to guilt and loss. The Alexander family struggled to find a suitable female until they found Evie. Victoria traps Evie in a coffin, but Mrs. Swift helps her escape, only to be annihilated by Renfield. Evie seeks help from a couple, Jonathan and Mina Harker, but they betray her as they work for Deville. Later, Evie wakes up with Imogen and Deville, who reveals himself as Dracula. He bites into Imogen's leg, and Evie witnesses it before losing consciousness. When she wakes up, she finds herself in a wedding dress, marrying Deville. During the vows exchange, she bites Deville, turning into a vampire. She sets the chapel on fire, ages Deville by stabbing his heart, and escapes with Dia, another maid. Victoria attacks Evie, 
but Lucy intervenes, resulting in both vampires turning into ashes. Evie is then attacked by Renfield, but she manages to execute him. Deville, now wall crawling, pursues her, but she severs his wrist and kicks him into the flames. As he burns, Evie loses her powers and reverts to a human. She escapes the burning manor. Two weeks later in London, Evie and Grace locate Oliver, who attempts to flee after bribing the police. The women plan to kill him for his deception and complicity in the vampire murders. The film ends leaving fans with many unanswered questions, but let's hope for a part two. Meanwhile, let's switch gears and break down how to easily defeat the situations that came up in the Invitation 2022 film. Number one, don't trust strangers who invite you to a lavish wedding in a remote estate. Evie should have been more cautious about accepting Oliver's invitation, especially since she barely knew him or his family. She should have done some background research on the Alexander family and the new Carfax Abbey before agreeing to go. She should have also kept in touch with her best friend Grace and informed her of her whereabouts. Number 2. Be aware of the signs of vampirism and avoid getting bitten. Evie should have noticed the odd behavior of Walter and his bridesmaids such as their pale skin, red eyes, aversion to sunlight, and preference for drinking blood. She should have also been suspicious of Walter's interest in her and his sudden proposal. She should have avoided any physical contact with him and his allies and protected her neck from their fangs. Number 3. Find allies and weapons to fight back. Evie should have befriended the maids and other guests who were not part of Walter's plan. She should have also looked for weapons, such as stakes, crosses, garlic, holy water, or silver to use against the vampires. She should have also tried to escape the estate or call for help whenever possible. Number four, use your wits and creativity to outsmart the vampires. Evie should have used her artistic skills and knowledge to create traps, distractions, or disguises to fool the vampires. She should have also exploited their weaknesses, such as fire, sunlight, or running water to hurt or eliminate them. She should have also used her DNA test results to prove her bloodline and challenge Walter's claim to her. The movie, The Invitation, is also full of valuable lessons that you can draw from. Lesson number one, do not fall for the charms of the host. Despite the growing danger, Evie's emotions cloud her judgment, leading her into intimate moments with Walter and a perilous engagement. As the night of the mysterious wedding approaches, she witnesses horrifying rituals involving blood and realizes the true nature of the Alexander family. Attempts to escape lead her to encounters with other supernatural beings, like Victoria and Lucy, who reveal their centuries-long connections to Walter. Lesson number two, do not hesitate to escape or fight back. Evie's resilience is put to the test as she finds herself trapped in a nightmarish situation. The story takes unexpected turns, with Evie discovering newfound powers after participating in the vampiric rituals. A fiery confrontation ensues as she battles Walter, Victoria, and Lucy ultimately emerging victorious and escaping the mansion with her life. The climax of the movie reaches a peak as Evie grapples with the moral dilemma of whether to seek revenge or break the cycle of violence. Oliver, seeing her internal struggle, attempts to manipulate her emotions once again. However, Evie, now empowered by her newfound abilities, stands firm, rejecting the family's legacy of bloodshed. Lesson number three, have genuine friends. The movie skillfully weaves moments of horror with poignant scenes of introspection and personal growth. Evie's interactions with Grace and her therapist showcase the importance of friendship and professional support in overcoming trauma. Evie's best friend, Grace, warns her about the dangers of meeting Oliver and his family and advises her to stay safe and alert. She also tries to contact her and help her when things go wrong. Evie ignores her friend's advice and trusts Oliver instead, putting herself in harm's way. Evie should have listened to her friend and valued her friendship more. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification so you can watch more content like this. Don't forget to comment on what you think I should recap next.